Hi guys! In this tutorial, we're going to create a REST API using Node.js with MySQL and Thunder Client. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. To start with, we're going to prepare a clean uh, workspace here using Visual Studio Code. And for our database, we're going to use the exam to host our MySQL uh, database. For this demo, I'll be using a test database called My Database. And a table, I create a table named Movies. As you can see, we have a sample uh, data here. So later on our demo, we will perform a recipe update performing the put, get, delete and also at the end of this video you will use this uh, code in your development or future project okay now let's get started to start with we're going to create an npm init to initialize our project first we need to type npm we need dash y okay now for our first file we're creating a, a file name app.js okay Clear this up. Now for our package, we're going to install uh, Express and MySQL. To do that, we need to type npm install Express MySQL. MySQL. And we're going to save that. Okay, next thing is we're going to install our uh, Nodemon so that whenever there's a changes, uh, Nodemon will perform an auto refresh so that we don't need anymore to to exceed this uh, to, uh, I mean, this code. So to install that, we need to install the npm install and we're going to assign this globally Nodemon. Hit enter. Okay, so let's move this a bit closer. Okay. okay, now we have our node mode. The first thing we need to do is to call our uh, first code. We need to call if this is working. So let's start with 
Cons, Express, Story Wire, Express, then we're going to assign this to the variable name APP. And after that, we're going to create an app listener so that uh, this will initialize our node application. Now to execute our file, we need to type notemon, then the name of the app, which is this is app.js. We can also use uh, not app.js, and also we can use on the app. Okay, hit enter. Okay, good. Now, we're going to see, it seems that our code is working. So to test this one, we need to try in our browser, localhost, 3000. Okay, so it seems this is working. Right now, we don't have any operations yet. So this time, we're going to create one. Okay, for this demo, the first thing we need to create is, of course, we need to call first the MySQL package. To do that, we need to call cons MySQL require MySQL. Now, so we need to create a connection. So we need to call cons db mysql connection. Closer creation. In here, we're going to assign our properties. First one is the source, so yeah. host server. Mine it's local host. User group. Password uh, one, two, three, four, five. Database. My database. Okay, the next thing we need to do is to check if our connection is working. So we need to call that here, db.connect, and we specify if error, if there's an error, say, so if error, Then we need to throw this error. Draw error. Now, if the connection succeed, we need to display MySQL is connected. It's safe. Good. So as you can see, in our 
uh, terminal, it says that our database is now connected. So good. And the first method is, this time we're going to perform our first uh, REST API command. And for the first one, we need to create a GET command to display all the values in our server. So to do that, uh, we're going to assign that better and put this variable here okay so uh, we're going to make some space from here all right for this command we're going to perform a get method so to call that we need to call the app dot get and here we're going to specify the url and the response response and result okay so what are the requirements first one we need to assign a variable uh, let's say we call this sql and going to perform select all from movies and this one we're going to assign this in a property query so let's say let query plus to db dot query sql and then we're going to assign here the checking for the and also the result so here okay now if the message is an error we're going to throw that error now if succeed we're going to call the Rest command here and then send the uh, result. Okay, so let's check first. Good. Now, for this one, we're going to call, let's say, get movies. Okay, that's it. Let's move a little closer. Okay. <clears throat> So what it does is that we call this uh, URL here, the get movies, and then we assign a variable here, which is the select all from movies, so which means we're going to display all the record and assign it in our uh, database query in here. Now I'm going to hit save. Okay, good. So for this one, we're going to use a uh, Thunder client to test if our uh, first URL request is working. Uh, to start, we need to replace this one here. HTTP, HTTP, localhost, 3000, slash, get me this. Okay. So, in here we apply the get HTTP request, and this is our command which is uh, we created a while ago. Now we hit closer. Now we hit send. Okay, so it says that it's gonna uh, it's not reachable. Ah, yes, because we forgot to put the P. So again, we're going to try again this one. Okay, so now we have a response. Which, uh, we have an error uh, response here. So we need to check. 
what is our error mm. okay we need to check one by one what what is our error here so uh, get slash get movies comma res one let sql select ultra movies and the query is db query sql as uh, here results comma one in here if error to error press that send results hmm thing is working so let's check uh, result is not defined ah okay so i put results instead of result okay then we save again this time we're going to test hopefully this is working now so click send good now as you can see we have succeed in displaying all the all the records in our uh, MySQL database okay good so next one uh, the next one is, is we're going to create a single request a while ago we create an old uh, old request so this time we're going to pick one of the fields or one of the records and display it in our response in our thunder client so to do that we need to copy the first one here that to make it a little faster so we're going to name this uh, uh name this a uh, single single request single request okay <clears throat> if you are very if you know how to use the basic command in, uh, in mysql so it all it also it always applies in here so now uh, let's say we're going to call this get movies slash ID number. So in the first part is we assign a variable name ID. So the data we're going to use this ID in our query command. Okay. So first we need to change the or modify this uh, query here. So I select all from movies where ID is equals to the request so pick the request that params that id okay <clears throat> since this is a string we're going to change this into this code so that our variables will be dy uh, dynamic okay so what what is the objective here so once we perform this query here and call the query from this uh, query properties, then we're going to return a result. So this time we're also still using the get uh, method here. So let's go back to our under client request. So for this uh, example, let's say I'm going to pick uh, this one, Godzilla versus phone. Okay, so we need to add the property here. So the ID is now, let's say, 4. We did get uh, HTTP request and hit send. There you go. So our, our single request is working. And the next one is we're going to perform a is insert method. So for to, uh, for to do that, we need to uh, perform this time the post command so to make it a little faster we just copy here let's modify all this from here okay so this time we're going to call this insert method and I'm going to call this as post movies. Also, we're going to change the property instead of get. This time is 
pause. So since this is a pause, we need to move this one here because we don't need any more ID. So be as uh, same as the query for insert, we're going to perform an insert query in this section here. So again, so insert into movies set yes. Remove this one here. Let's put it in a single string. Okay. So question is what what are the values that we need? So to do that, we need to assign a parameters. Okay. This time I'm going to use I'm going to insert only the field. Uh, the title field so up here change from that and the value is oops sorry since this is a json format so we need to do it in this way mr b mr b okay so now what it does is uh we're going to assign this parameter in our db query notice that the first uh, variable here is our query next one we need to include the parameters so that uh this uh perform i mean this will apply from this section here this question mark so in other words it will return a complete value and assign to our question mark here now next we need to specify again uh, same code from here if there's an error it will throw an error and we need to return a success message so let's say success successfully insert into movies Okay, good now let's try so i'm going to copy this one here okay so this time is a post method then we're going to place that here now let's try we're going to hit stem good so this time seems that our uh, uh, message response here is uh, is okay so to check we need to check it by testing our our here so i hit refresh ah, okay so there's no response here. so instead we're going to check on our uh, database so i want to refresh from here Okay, good. Now this time we have a, a row here, so our insert method is working. Okay, next. Now after we perform the insert command, the next thing we need to do is we not uh, we're going to create an update post method. So again, I'm going to copy mm, here and then place it here. Now for this is the update method. Now in our update method, we're going to use the put put command, the put HTTP request, and we're going to change here. So instead of post now, this will become update movies. So for this example, I'm going to create a new variable now a new title uh, this time I'm going to call this let's say rumble 
Then we're going to perform an update query. So update. Update movies. Set title is equals to this title here. The okay, so we need to call that here. equals to so we need to copy from our previous example here okay so also we need to assign that variables we call it from our url here id now notice that um this uh this is a static uh, uh variables here so we need to replace this code here we'll be using the this one so that it will become dynamic okay so uh, let's check so once we succeed in this we're going to display uh tell that that we successfully update the id number id number this okay so next we need to change this one so that it will be dynamic string oops this one okay now let's try we need to copy this one here and using our other client we need to call the post this and slash so a while ago we already see here so let's say going to change uh mr bean id so we're going to replace those values with this ID here. This ID number is uh, ID six. So here we're going to put six. This time we're going to perform a put request and test. Okay. So notice we have an error. So params is not defined. Let's go back in there. So this time we don't have any more params command so we need to remove this one here save uh, that should work so let's go back again and try hit send good now, right now we update the id number six so let's check our database hit refresh okay now, as you can see, we succeed in replacing Rambo in our ID 6. Okay, good. Now, this time, after we perform our uh, update method, the next one we need to do is we need to perform a delete method. So we need to copy this one again. This time, this is delete method also the property here we need to use uh, delete as well so we don't need this anymore so if you know the query you can perform uh, we can do it in here but this time to replace this Delete from movies and okay. Okay, so our command now is delete from movies where id is equals to the params id. This id variable here is the one we assigned in our URL. 
Now, if once uh, complete, so we need to display the message uh, successfully delete the ID number. This one here. Okay, let's try this now. First, we need to copy this one here. and replace here slash notice here so this time we're going to perform uh delete okay so we're going to pick one from here let's say i'm going to delete venom which is the id number three so now we're going to replace ID here and let's uh let's run hit send good now we successfully delete the ID number three to check this we need to go back in our server and hit refresh okay good so okay so that's it uh, right now, we have successfully delete the ID number 3, which is Venom. So, that's it, guys. So, right now, we have demonstrated on how to use this package, uh, MySQL. So, uh, in a future reference, uh, we'll also use this uh, package in our next development. But for now, you can use this code at your own risk. You can, uh, I will put this code in my dis in the description below. You can get it from there. So again, if you like this tutorial, hit the like button and share. And see you guys for the next video. Cheers.